You cannot feel it, even if it's ill. The liver doesn't hurt. Liver disorders are silently on the rise. The most common liver diseases worldwide, fatty liver. Estimations go up to 2.4 billion people affected. Scientists believe that in industrialized countries, one in a hundred people suffers from liver cirrhosis. That means seven million people in Europe alone. Liver cancer is diagnosed about 750,000 times a year, and 600 million people worldwide are infected by hepatitis viruses. The liver has many responsibilities. It is the central metabolic organ. Its weight, up to two kilos. Its functions, putting food to use, storing glycogen and fat. The liver is a source of cholesterol and proteins. It produces bile and detoxifies the body. The liver's functions are infinitely complex. Being such an incredibly important organ, the liver is the only one capable of regeneration. This mechanism probably evolved due to the liver's indispensable role. A vital organ. At Collaborative Research Center 841 in Hamburg's University Medical Center, 100 scientists in 21 working groups deal with the liver and its disorders. Physicians, biologists, biochemists, and bioinformaticians. New ideas keep emerging from this collaboration. You might think, if I tried out something like that which they're doing, it might work. You'd ask them if they can help and they gladly oblige. This results in cooperation, which opens up avenues you'd never have thought about. New scientific ways to improve therapeutic options. The basis for this research is the biobank used to store blood and tissue samples from liver patients. From this frozen repository, scientists gain new insights. Even expensive purchases are worthwhile for a large research group. The intravital microscope is so fast that it can record operations in living cells. For example, how immune cells or tumor cells influence the liver, or how fat molecules called lipids afflict the liver. Dietary lipids naturally play a major role because as we absorb more lipids from food, they pass through the blood and reach the liver, where excess amounts of lipids can cause diseases involving inflammation of the liver. And not only quantity plays a role here, but so does quality. There are bad lipids which can further provoke inflammation of the liver. It looks like art, but it is science. Researchers of the Collaborative Research Center 841 have developed a method they can use to mark cells in all imaginable colors. This allows the life cycle of individual cells to be observed. For example, RGB marking provides unprecedented insights into the formation of liver tumors. Liver cancer almost always results from inflammation, though we don't know which specific factors actually cause the cancer. We want to understand why inflammation causes cancer in certain patients, but not in others. Controlling this would potentially allow us to prevent the development of cancer. Much of the basic research, like that conducted here at the Collaborative Research Center 841, is a long way from clinical application, but it's a prerequisite for medical progress and hope for patients. It's great to see research on therapy here, finding new drugs which work, exploring new approaches, and anticipating new medicines. Research being conducted here is truly marvelous. Research which brings together knowledge and experience from different disciplines in order to achieve faster and better results. We've been able to test new therapeutic approaches and prove them in animal experiments. We hope to determine in the next few years whether we can also apply these to patients so that our research can provide tangible results to medicine. Die Medizin zu erwerben aus unserer Forschungsaktivität. The liver is a fascinating organ with unique abilities. Liver research is uncovering increasingly more of its secrets as fundamentals for new strategies of prevention and treatment. <laughs>